Hey guys, how's it growing? Welcome back to our channel where beginner growers come together to learn together. We've got a very special episode today which we're quite excited to bring you guys. Recently, Elevate Seed sent us some of their brand new strains to try. So we figured what better way to showcase these beauties than to do a two-part grow series. In today's episode, we will be germinating, vegging, transplanting, topping, and low stress training, all of the key things that will help you to increase your yields. So be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already, smash that like button, and let's get into it. What up guys? Pretty neat little mini scrog we got going on, huh? But before we even get into any of that, we'd like to thank Elevate Seeds for allowing us to test these brand new strains. So, huge shout out to Elevate Seeds. There's some good people over there doing some even better stuff. But, we've got a disclaimer though. Elevate did not pay us to make this video. And we also had no say in the strains which were sent to us for testing. We were lucky enough to be chosen however, and it seems that we got some really fiery strains. So, that said, the first strain, it's actually called Forbidden Cake. As you can see from the description on their website, it's a very loud and gassy strain whose phenotypes produce varying amounts of purple colors. Heck, purple is always cool, right? The other strain, while one name may sound a lot meaner than the other, we can assure you that it's no slouch, and it's the Sherbet Cake. This strain actually comes in as a higher potency strain, and it's a cross between Two Scoops and Wedding Cake. This combination is said to make for an unforgettable terpene combo. So boy, are we gassed to see how these babies turn out. <laughs> and no pun intended. Okay guys, so we'll be starting these seeds out using our standard germination process where we simply pop the seeds into a glass of water and place it in a dark cupboard for about 48 to 72 hours. We will check back on those later. In the meantime, let's go prepare our pots. Okay, so we will be using 3 gallon fabric pots to start. We will also be transplanting the seeds directly into the 3 gallon pots. We will not be using small seed starter pots for this grow. For our soil, we will be using a custom mix of soil which includes Fox Farm Ocean Forest amended with bat guano and earthworm castings. Twenty-four hours later, and it's time to check up on the seeds which we left in the cupboard and paid absolutely zero attention to. As we can see, they've all germinated and begun to sprout their tap roots. Success! So, now that that's over, we simply stick them in the ground and watch them grow. After a few days, the seedlings will begin to grow a bit more quickly as the root system establishes itself. Once the first set of true leaves form, we will then move them into the 5x2 bedroom under our Mars Hydro lights. If you're interested in copying these lights for your setup, be sure to check the link in the description below to choose the one that's right for you. A quick note though, with seedlings, make sure that the lights are either dimmed down or set at the right height to avoid light burn. Okay guys, so we are now officially in the vegetative stage of the plant's life cycle. And for that, we should all be grateful. And you can show some appreciation by hitting the like button down below if you haven't already. And by the way, we upload videos every week, sometimes twice a week. So be sure to hit that notification bell down below so that you don't miss our next upload. 
as we were saying, we're finally in veg, and that means time to get to work. We've actually taken some preventative steps and sprinkled some DE or diatomicus earth around our ladies to help with any unwanted pests. As you can see, these strains show vigorous growth, nice internodal stacking and thick green fan leaves. To kick things off early in terms of low stress training, we simply placed a green metal mesh on top of the plant. No rocket science here, more bro science actually. Literally, we just dropped a piece of metal frame onto the plant pot. This is essentially a mini scrog or screen of green and as the plant grows upwards, we will continually bend the tops down under the mesh in order to create bud sites and to maintain a low even canopy. We will also only be using this technique on the two sherbet cake strains. So, fast forward a few weeks and we are now quickly progressing through the vegetative stage. We are only aiming to veg these ladies for a short period of time, so training is key. We will do some LST, but not just quite yet. We have also begun to feed these ladies nutrients as those in the fox farm ocean forest would have started to wear off by now. Our nutrients of choice for this grow during the veg phase only is the fox farm grow big liquid nutrients. We found this to work quite well during veg but we usually switch to something else during flower. Stick around to find out what that is. Do you use Fox Farm nutrients? Drop a comment down below and let us know what you think. Or do you not use it? If not, then drop a comment down below and let us know why not. We'd love to hear what you think. As you can see however, these ladies are growing vigorously and they're producing some nice green leaves. We will just continue to do some housekeeping for now as we go on in the vegetative stage. On to week 7 of this grow and we are nearing the end of our planned veg phase. In anticipation of going into flower soon, we will be transplanting and starting some low stress training. For this grow, we will not transplant all 4 strains, but rather we will only transplant the 2 forbidden cake strains from their 3 gallon pots to their new 5 gallon homes. We will also be using mycorrhiza enriched soil. Mycorrhiza, for those who don't know, is a beneficial bacteria that helps to promote robust root growth. To see how this works, be sure to check out our video on this. We will put a link in the top right hand corner of the screen. Be sure to check it out. Okay, by now you may be wondering to yourself, but what about low stress training, topping, fimming? Well, to be honest, we top the ladies a few times during veg, but apart from setting down the metal screen on the sherbet cakes, we haven't done much in terms of training for this grow at all. So on today's to-do list, yep, you got it, LST and defoliation. Well, actually, we'll be tying down the tops of the forbidden cakes so that we can create an even canopy. Things may look a bit funny at first, but trust us, it'll work out for the best. We will not be doing any tying of the sherbet cakes, however, because the screen has helped us to achieve our desired shape, and the branches have begun to harden off due to the constant bending. So we will actually just be removing the metal screen from the sherbet cakes to allow them a chance to breathe and just to stretch a bit.
So guys, as you can see, we have done a significant amount of training using very inexpensive materials such as gift wine. This training will be massively beneficial to the plant as it will spread out and allow for deeper light penetration. Now it may look a bit funny or a bit sad, but it will recover. Trust us. This is also an ideal time to do some light defoliation just to allow light to reach lower areas of the plant. So we're at the final rundown before we put these ladies into the 5x3 flower room. These plants are looking super healthy and show no signs of slowing down at all. They have all recovered nicely from their individual training and new growth has already begun to form as a result. The transformation is truly amazing and we can't wait to see what sort of quality and yields these ladies throw off. But we'll have to wait until we head into flower and that's for another episode. So. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because those two things really do help the channel out a whole lot. We've also put links to all of the products we use on this channel in the description below. So be sure to check them out. Keep on growing guys. We'll catch you in the next one. And in the meanwhile, we'll chat more in the comments. Don't forget, stay high and stay fly.